continuing our search for non-abelian simple groups, we have lowered our list just to the numbers 12, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 46, and 60. We do know there is a non-abelian simple group of order 60, that's A5, but are there any smaller than that? In this video, we're gonna take a look at the number 56 and show why there cannot be a simple group of order 56, and then try to make some generalizations from that if we can. So 56, the factorization here is significant. 56 factors as two cubed times seven, um, for which, if there was a unique Seeloff 7 subgroup, then that Seeloff 7 subgroup would be normal and therefore the group would not be simple. If I'm looking for a simple one though, then I have to assume we have a non-unique Seeloff 7 subgroup. So by Seeloff's third theorem, we know that the number of seven groups is going to divide eight. Uh, in particular, it's gonna divide 56, take away the seven, but it also has to be congruent to one mod seven like so. So if we look at the divisors of eight, one, two, four, and eight, um, two, four don't work. We'd have to get, that is, they don't, they're not one mod seven. Um, we don't want one, because that would be a unique one. So what we then have decided is that if we have, if we're looking for a simple group right here, it can't have a normal subgroup, uh, and therefore it has to have eight Seeloff, uh, eight Seeloff seven subgroups, okay? Now, as the subgroups, uh, each of, these, each of these seven subgroups has um, order seven, they're all gonna be isomorphic to Z7 itself. So imagine we consider two of these Seeloff seven subgroups right here, two different ones, let's be clear about that. Um, consider their intersection for a moment, right? Um, these are groups of order seven, they do have the identity in common, but they're not gonna have anything else. Uh, by Lagrange's theorem, the intersection of two subgroups um, I, let, let, let me rephrase that. The order of a subgroup divides the order of the group itself. So if we take the intersection of P and Q, which itself is a subgroup, it has to divide seven. Um, if it were seven, that means P and Q were the same group, can't be the case. So their intersection has to be one, it's trivial. So none of these Seeloff seven subgroups um, contain anything in common except for the identity. So each of them, each of them is gonna contain seven minus one, AKA six elements of order seven that none of the other subgroups have. Um, and by the assumption that it's not simple, right? Or excuse me, the, the assumption that, it's, that this is non-normal, the Seeloff seven subgroup, uh, we have to have eight of them. So we end up with eight times six mini elements of order seven, uh, that, which gives us 48 elements total. So notice here, that if we take these 48 elements of order seven and we subtract them from the total group, um, there was 56 total, 56 take away 48 is now eight. So there are eight elements left in the group that are not order seven. Well, let's consider the Seeloff two subgroup for a moment. Remember, 56 is equal to two cubed times seven. So a Seeloff two subgroup is going to contain eight elements, okay? So honestly, and we know by Seeloff's first theorem that there is a Seeloff two subgroup, there has to be at least one, um, it contains eight elements and none of those elements are of order seven. So these eight remaining elements that aren't order seven have to be the eight elements of this Seeloff two subgroup, it contains all of them. So by forcing us to have multiple Seeloff seven subgroups, it then it then forces that we have a unique, we have a unique Seeloff two subgroup. So if you're a group of order 56, you either have a unique Seeloff seven subgroup or you have a unique Seeloff two subgroup. You have to have one or the other. You could have both. Uh, maybe you're like the cyclic group of, of order 56, but you're gonna have to have one or the other. So you either have a unique Seeloff seven subgroup or a unique Seeloff two subgroup. Um, a unique Seeloff subgroup is always normal, and therefore, no group of order 58 can be simple. It's not possible because your two group or your seven Seeloff subgroup will be unique. Um, I want you to be able to convince yourself that if we change the appropriate parts, this exact same um, this exact same argument applies to 12 as well. Uh, that is, if you have if you consider the three subgroups, you your options are going to be n3 equals one or four. 
If you have one, it's unique, therefore it's normal, you're not simple. So the other options you have four, but as you have four subgroups of order three that each share the identity, four times three minus one, this is going to give you four times two, this is eight elements. 12 take away eight leaves you four, because there's eight elements of order three. So there's four elements which are not order three, but the CLOF2 subgroup itself is size four. So the four remaining elements have to belong to the CLOF4 subgroup. So you either have a unique subgroup of order three, or you have a unique subgroup of order four. In either case, those CLOF subgroups are normal. So there are no simple groups of order 12. And so I want to take those off of our list. We took away 12, uh, we took away 56, and our list just got shorter.